forgiveness gives you freedom and is your friend, not an enemy. There are three ways of forgiveness, here is the first one. Shake hands now and continue playing. Remember when you were younger. You reluctantly try to overlook what has been done to you. You try to be a better person. This takes a lot of effort and in some cases you cannot do it. You are using your own will, and the love your ego can muster. Fortunately there are better tools available to forgive, here comes the second way. Yes I can forgive you, no problem. Here you forgive the other person because you know who you are. Eternal and loving. You can only forgive by knowing who you are, beyond the person. You see that you do not really need something of other people. You see that the belief someone harmed you is an illusion. You see that all you need, you can find, within yourself. Like love, or self-worth. Nothing real, you as a soul, can be threatened, nothing unreal exists, that is real peace. You are using the love and the willpower from your source. Wait a minute, what is this talk about real and unreal? What you mean, beyond the person? Illusion? I was really hurt by someone. Are we talking about two different things here? Yes, there is a difference between your ego and your soul. Your ego is a helpful tool given to us by evolution. Let me explain. When we as humans, started forming communities, physical survival became the same as social survival. As you climb the social ladder you get a better mate, better housing, better food. So how other people see you became a very important question. The ego, makes sure you climb the social ladder, and runs towards pleasure. The ego makes sure you do not fall off the social ladder, and runs from pain. But there the suffering starts, the ego becomes a cruel taskmaster, makes you feel threatened, by others. Makes you feel unsure and vulnerable. The ego needs to get power from others by getting acceptance and praise. The soul does not see the separation the ego sees, and gives others acceptance, gives praise to others and gives them power. But then I am left with nothing because I gave all away? Fortunately, one of the laws of the universe is, giving is receiving, and giving is proof of having. Good news, the ego is not you, you can look at it as programming. Programming that helped you survive while you did not know who you are, an eternal soul. Forgiveness is, now that I know who I really am, an eternal soul which cannot be really harmed, I see that nothing you did, could ever hurt me. I was hurting myself by imagining to be your victim. Forgiveness does nothing at all, only seeing reality clearly. You are not overlooking the truth, but the ego's illusions of lack and separation. This all is already pretty amazing way of looking at forgiveness, ready for number 3? What is there to forgive? Here you see a picture from a well-known series, The Game of Thrones. The man on the right, Jamie, threw the young man, the one in the wheelchair, out of a window of a tower. Meaning to kill him, leaving him cripple, when he was a boy of 8 years old pretty bad situation. You could say an unforgivable act. This drawing pictures that they meet again, years later. The tables are turned and Bran, in the wheelchair, has now the position of power. Jamie wants to help him and asks forgiveness. Bran's egoic reaction could be, what? Are you crazy? I chop off your head. Bran's reaction from his soul, what is there to forgive? If you had not thrown me, from the tower, I never had my spiritual journey, and I never became what I am now. The same goes for you, you would not stand here, as a better person now, than you were back then. 
In short, you can look upon other people as actors in your play. Do you sue, the Joker, for playing the bad guy? You can see, the bad guys, as your greatest teachers of life. They made you to scratch behind your ear, wondering what life is about, if all this happens. They help you discover who, and what, you really are in the universe. As a conclusion, again the quote from A Course in Miracles. Nothing real, you as a soul, can be threatened, nothing unreal, your ego, exists, therein lies real peace. I hope this helps to finally get free, till next time.